What's up ninjas? Welcome to Yoga with Dojo Cat. Today we are going to do a core and back strengthening yoga flow. Uh, the core is the most important thing. Without a strong core, um, it makes a lot of things difficult, especially uh, like martial arts. So strong core is going to help you in your kickboxing and jiu-jitsu. I'm using some props today. Um, I am still dealing with a knee injury, so I have a blanket underneath my knees to help support them. I also have some blocks here. If you want to use some props, you can. If you don't have any props, that's fine. You don't necessarily need them. So let's just get into it. So we are going to begin with seated cat cow. So you can bring your uh, feet about hip distance apart and just hold on to the backs of your thighs. Take a deep breath in, pull the spine nice and tall. And as you exhale, you're going to arch your spine, rounding it, tucking the chin to the chest and straightening the arms. Inhale, rolling forward, lifting the chin to the sky. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, lift your spine high, lift your face to the sky. Do a couple more of these, linking your movement to your breath. Good. Release your thighs, extend your hands out in front of you and just lean back until you feel your core engage. You can keep your heels on the mat if you like, or you can lift your legs parallel or for an even bigger challenge, you can straighten your legs. Don't hold your breath in this pose. We don't want to raise any blood pressure. Keep breathing, keep holding. I'm starting to shake already. <laughs> Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels to the mat wider than your hips. Bring your fingers to the mat uh, facing your toes and then pull your chest and face open to the sky. Beautiful. Release that pose, straighten your legs in front of you. Flex the feet, pressing those heels into the mat. Inhale your hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over the knees. If you need to keep a generous bend in your knees just to protect the joints, that's fine. Um, if you don't have a lot of flexibility in your hamstrings, it's always best to work on with those bent knees first with a, maybe a blanket underneath and then eventually over time straightening the legs rather than rushing to like try to achieve that perfect pose, right? There's no such thing as perfection. There's only progression, getting better every day. A couple more breaths in this pose. Really try to keep your mind on your breath and how your body feels. If you feel your mind wander during this flow today, just bring it back to the mat. You can deal with all that other stuff later right now. This is about you and how you feel. Release this pose coming back up. We are going to come into a tabletop position. So if you want to cross your ankles and roll over them to meet in a tabletop position, I am going to stack this blanket underneath my knees to help me with my extra support that I need. And we are going to do some cat cows from this position now. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone and chin. And exhale, arch the spine, press the mat away from you. Tuck your chin to your chest. And sink your movement to your breath again. Maybe you need some other movement. Maybe you want to roll your spine going in one direction. Or maybe you want to do some spinal waves by bringing your hands a little bit in front of your shoulders. And as you 
inhale, drop your hips down to your heels. And then as you exhale, roll, arch the spine, roll forward to bring your shoulders above the wrists. Just whatever feels good. Or maybe you just want to wiggle your hips. All right, we're going to work on strengthening our back now. So I'm just going to make a little adjustment here to get this blanket in the right spot. But you are going to roll onto your belly and bring your forehead to the mat and your arms down beside your hips, palms to the sky. Now from here, inhale, lift your chest, lift your legs, hold your palms up to the sky. You're gonna feel your back muscles engage. Your quads are gonna start to burn. You're gonna feel your triceps turn on. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Release, take a little breather here. Now we're gonna do kind of a little flow with that pose here. So take one more breath. Maybe you wanna wiggle your hips. And then when you are ready, inhale, lift the chest, lift the legs, exhale, lower. Inhale to lift, keep that neck neutral, gaze on the mat, exhale, lower. You don't want to be straining your neck trying to look up at me. Just keep your gaze on the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. We've got a few more here. And the last one. Lift, hold. Five, four, three, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, and one. Release to the mat. We are going to press into a puppy pose here. So stack your knees over top of your hips and bring your forehead to the mat, extending. Oh, sorry, I'm using a block here on its lowest setting um, to bring underneath my forehead. Or if you want more challenge, the chin, and then eventually you can work your way down to use, doing this pose without a block. Beautiful. Release that puppy pose and melt into a child's pose. If you're looking at me, uh, you're noticing I'm not going into a full child's pose and that's because I can't quite bend my knee that far yet, so. Good, lift your head up, crawl your hands all the way over to the right, melt back down. You'll get a nice little side body stretch. And lift up, crawl your hands all the way over to the left. Melt back down. <sighs> Beautiful. Come back to center. Place your right hand at center. Slide the left one underneath for a nice little thread the needle. Option to keep your right fingertips where they are, or you can wrap your hand around the lower back reaching for that opposite thigh to open up that shoulder on the right side. And release, unwind, come back up. Left hand at center, slide the right hand underneath. And again, if you took that bind on the other side, wrap the left arm and uh, around the lower back and hold on to the opposite thigh if you can. And release. We're gonna roll all the way onto our bellies, bringing the elbows underneath the shoulders, lifting the chest nice and high for our sphinx pose. 
press into the tops of your feet. And uh, you can stay right here if you want, if this is enough for you. Or you can add in a little movement, taking a deep breath at center and exhaling over one shoulder. Inhaling back to center, exhaling over the other shoulder. And coming back to center, staying right here if this is enough. We're straightening the arms to come into seal pose for a deeper back bend. Beautiful. A couple more breaths here. And release, lowering down onto the belly, bringing your hands under the shoulders, pressing up onto the knees. Tucking the toes, lifting the hips to the sky for downward facing dog. Take a nice generous bend in the knees and really press your hands into the mat. You're going to feel a nice stretch in the spine. And then come back into a normal down dog. Maybe you want to pedal out your feet. Maybe you want to rock up onto the tiptoes. Just taking whatever movement you need here. Or maybe you just need to find some stillness. <sighs> Bring your mind back to that breath. <sighs> and we're gonna add in a little twist to this down dog. Of course, you have the option to ignore me and just stay doing what you're doing. But if you'd like to add the twist, you're gonna put your weight into that right hand and then reach with that left hand for the right ankle, taking your gaze up almost at your right armpit, but looking past it, because who wants to look at an armpit? <laughs> Holding for five, four, three, two, one, release. Pause for a breath before we take that to the other side. Whew. And then when you are ready, weight goes into that left hand, reaching with the right hand to the left ankle, gaze up over the left armpit. And holding for five, four, three, two, one, release that twist. Amazing work. All right, guys, we are, we are going to work on strengthening that core now. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale that leg back to the sky. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale that right leg back to the sky. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose, arch the spine and then bring that leg back to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. And then from here, you're gonna look up almost like you're trying to touch your head to your foot for our scorpion variation of down dog. Holding for three, two, one, release. Bring your toes back to the mat, meeting in down dog. Now, if you need to pause for a little break, maybe melting into a child's pose, you are welcome to do that. But we are gonna take that to the other side. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, the left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, the leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, that leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it center, trying to touch your nose, arch the spine, press the mat away from you. And then bring that leg back to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip, take your gaze up for the scorpion variation. I'm shaking, you're probably shaking. <laughs> it's a good thing. And holding for three, two, one, release. Bring the toes to the mat. 
and then lower yourself all the way down to your knees, melting into a child's pose. Amazing work, you guys. Whew. Flip. <sighs> My shoulders are burning. <sighs> Beautiful. <sighs> and if you like, you can copy me here. I'm just bringing my uh, hands to prayer behind my neck just to kind of stretch out the triceps a little bit more at the tops of the shoulders. Bring your mind back to your breath. Do a little body scan. How do you feel right now? I bet you feel strong and ready to take on the day or whatever challenge you have ahead of you today. You can release your hands back to the floor. Find yourself into a comfortable seat. And we are gonna seal this practice with three deep breaths, the deepest breaths we've taken all day. So when you're ready, grounding evenly through your sit bones, inhale the hands to the sky, exhale, bring them back down to your hips. Inhale and exhale. Last one, deep breath in and bring your palms together and then down to your heart. Amazing work today, you guys. I hope you're feeling as amazing as I do right now. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you in my little dojo. And if you're not in my little dojo, what are you even doing? <laughs> if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me at dojocat713 on Instagram and TikTok. If you want to do longer classes, I post 45 minute to uh, hour long classes on my Patreon and any support there is greatly appreciated. It helps me keep doing what I'm doing. If you are in the Saskatoon area and you want to do a live class with me, my information is under the book me button on my Instagram page. I would love to see you. That is it today. Go drink some water. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Maybe go make friends with a crow. That is my vibe. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Oh,